In this video, I will determine the atomic term symbols of the D2 electron configuration. The total number of microstates of the D2 electron configuration is 45. This is because when we put two electrons in the d orbitals, the first electron has 10 options because it may occupy one of the five different d orbitals. And also, this electron may have alpha or beta spin. The second electron has nine options because of the Pauli exclusion principle, which states that no two electrons can have the same set of quantum numbers. So therefore, we have 10 times 9 equals 90 microstage. And then, electrons are indistinguishable. Therefore, we need to divide this 90 by 2 factorial. We get 45 microstages. So in the following tables, we will sum up the n sub L values of the two electrons and use the uppercase M sub L to denote the sum. And then if we look at the table, so electron 1 may have M sub L equal to negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, or 2. How about electron 2? Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So we'll fill this um, diagonal cells and lower triangle. Uh, why not the tri uh, upper triangle as well? This is again because the two electrons are indistinguishable. So first, let's look at the diagonal term. When the two electrons occupy the same d orbital, both with negative 2 m sub l values, the sum is negative 4. And the two electrons have opposite spins. Their spin function is alpha beta minus beta alpha, a empty symmetric spin function. The same here, negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. So these five entries are diagonal terms in which the two electrons occupy the same d orbital and thus must have different spin functions. And the spin function of the two electrons collectively must be anti symmetric. Therefore, it's not alpha beta, it's actually alpha beta minus beta alpha. How about the off diagonal terms? Again, we just need to fill out the lower triangle because the two electrons are indistinguishable and we should not double count the microstage. So what if the two electrons occupy different d orbitals? One electron has this negative 2 m sub l value, the other electron has negative 1 m sub l value. And then we have actually four entries because we may have a singlet and a triplet. So how so? Remember, when we have two electrons occupying two different d orbitals, they can be alpha alpha, alpha beta, beta alpha, or beta beta. And then if we group them together, we should uh, make two different electronic states, a triplet and a singlet. So first, let's look at the triplet. We may have alpha, alpha, so electron 1 with alpha spin, electron 2 with alpha spin. We may have beta, beta, and also we may have alpha, beta plus beta, alpha. So this three correspond to a triplet electronic state. And then this alpha, beta minus beta, alpha correspond to the singlet electronic state. These three are symmetric under the exchange of the two electrons. And uh, this spin function, the single spin function, is anti-symmetric under exchange of the two electrons. So again, we have a triplet, we have a singlet. <coughs> so we do the same thing for every single off-diagonal cell. And then we have 40 off-diagonal entries and 5 diagonal entries. What's the sum? 45. So that's why we have 45. Now let's look for the maximum value of the sum of M sub L, or the minimum or the most negative value of the sum. So we get negative 4 or 4. Really, it's just part of 
a series from negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And if you look at this series of the sum of m sub l, and recall that when we have uh, a single electron with a m sub l going from negative 4 to 4, it's going to be a g orbital. Why? S, P, D, F, G corresponds to L equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then when L equals 4, M sub L can be from negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, so really we're looking at a G atomic term symbol. And also we have just, uh, you know, one entry in each cell making contribution to this series. So it's from negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, all the way to 4. So it's got to be a singlet G. So we have a 1G here. That's the first atomic term symbol we determined for the D2 electron configuration. And then we can delete this series in red. Once we delete those, we then look for the maximum value of the sum of m sub l again, or the most negative value. That's negative 3. So we got negative 3 here, and we got positive 3 here. And we see again another series from negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. And also, if you look at those cells, each of the cell contains three entries. They correspond to the three spin functions of a triplet electronic state. You have alpha alpha, alpha beta plus beta alpha, and you have beta beta. And then what does that tell us? We have a triplet spin, and then m sub l equals negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Therefore l equals 3. When l equals 3, and again we have s, p, d, f, g. So when L equals 3, we get F. It's a triplet F. So this is the second atomic term symbol, triplet F, we determined for the D2 electron configuration. We had 1G over here in red. We have 3F in yellow. Now we delete all those 50 microstates that correspond to 3F. Oh, I'm sorry, 21 microstates that correspond to 3F. And then we look for the most negative M sub L or the most positive M sub L. All right, and then the, these numbers are in green. We have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So this corresponds to a singular D. And we delete these five numbers. And we see uh, another series here from negative 1, 0 to 1, and then in each cell, there are three entries which correspond to triplet P. So we have 1D here, we have 3P here. And finally, we have a single number left, which is simply 1S. Now, this flowchart of five tables, we go from this table, more complicated, 45 microstates. We look for the maximum value of the sum of M sub L of the two electrons, we get uh, negative 4 all the way to 4. We determine this 1G atomic term symbol, and we delete these nine numbers in red. We have the next maximum value of M sub L equals 3, and then we delete. Uh, we determine this uh, uh, series to be 3F, a triple F, and then we delete this 21 microstates, and then we find the next of 5 corresponds to 1D, and then 3P, and then 1S in the end. So therefore, we have 1G, 3F, 1D, 3P, 1S atomic terms for the D2 electron configuration. Do we always need to uh, draw 5 tables? No. Uh, I just used these 5 tables to show you the steps. However, we can do everything in one table. If we look here, we just use different colors for uh, different series of M sub L. Again, the nine red numbers give you 1G. 
the 21 three times seven numbers give you three F the five green numbers give you one D the nine three by three blue numbers give you three P and finally you have one S now you may ask what if we have uh, uh, two F electrons very simple we just need to expand this uh, table. We just need to include negative three and positive three. We uh, in in the in the row and also we need to include negative three and positive three in the columns. And then we we'll simply have just uh, two more atomic term symbols: one i and three h. Very simple. And if you look at this three h, it's going to be three times 11, 33 microstates. And then if you look at 1i, it contains 1 times 13, equal 13 microstates. That's it. That's how you get the atomic term symbols for the F2 electron configurations. Now, how about uh, P2? Well, that's easy. If you look at P2, it's just this smaller table. That's P2. How about S2? S2, it's just this table. Very simple. It's 1s. P2, it's going to be 1D, 3P, and 1S. How about D2? This table, 5x5, five five, you get uh, 1G, 3F, 1D, 3P, and 1S. How about F2? You need to make a 7x7 seven seven table, and again, using the same algorithm, you will find the first series of 30 numbers with M sub L going from negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, a total of 13 numbers. And uh, they belong to a singlet spin state. And then you have one I. And then you delete that uh, 13, those 30 microstates. And then you have a uh, triplet H, 3 by 11. You will see uh, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 each worth three different spin functions therefore you have triplet h so that's for f2 all right again this helps you determine the atomic term symbols for s2 p2 d2 f2 and even g2 and, and so on easily